afternoon, folks. Steve Charlton here with an end of the week and quarterly update. And when we look at the numbers, the United States economy was red, white, and bruised last quarter. What we are experiencing is that the U.S. growth is getting a whole lot slower. But what is really going on? Data shows that the stars and stripes have been staggering with the U.S. economy falling short of expectations pretty significantly last quarter. What does that mean for us? Well, while the U.S. has been certainly weathering interest rate hikes and red-hot inflation quite well in recent quarters, it seems that the economy is finally starting to show some real cracks. Now, sure, a key measure of consumer spending on goods and services picked up nicely, right? and exports certainly did their part as well. But not everything was roses and fine and dandy everywhere else. Business investment and equipment saw the largest drop since the pandemic. Inventories dragged on growth, and the housing market continued to struggle. If you add all of that up, the economy slowed to an annualized growth rate of only 1.1%, well, which is well below the previous quarter's 26 and far short of the 2% expected rate. Now, why should we even care? Well, first of all, we have to look at the bigger picture, right? This is really just the tip of the iceberg. This might not look anything more than like a slowdown, but the situation could be far worse than it seems. Remember, when we look at data, data is always looking in the past, looking back in time. And consumer spending, which propped up these numbers, has been on the, the slide of recent. And that has economists predicting that the economy will pretty much stall this quarter with just a 0.2% growth. And the outlook doesn't brighten from there. Further shutdowns, tightening credit conditions, another expected interest rate hike next week, as most economists bracing for a full-blown recession. If a recession does come knocking, as it looks like it's going to, the stock market might be in for another unpleasant surprise. It's been standing strong so far this year with anticipated rate cuts fueling visions for what they call a soft landing scenario. But those dreams seem to be off the mark. And as soon as that becomes clear, the markets might nosedive. That is why it is wise to keep some cash on the sidelines instead of going all in right now. We talk relentlessly about PE ratios, about debt to GDP, and how the market is just significantly overpriced and overvalued right now. Not a time to be buying because that's not a strategy that has ever been employed by any professional nor any successful investor, at least from a strategy perspective. Hedge fund managers, billionaire investors, banks, insurance companies, none of them employ a buy and hold strategy. They never have. Yet, you are often told to do just that by many advisors out there. And why is that? Well, if I've got a hundred clients and, and things are starting going south, I've got to do a lot of work. I've got to go move all that stuff around or how about instead I simply put you into a plan based off some fictitious number that I come up with from a risk aversion conversation to discover your own suitability number, your suitability score. I just then have to just manage your emotions and I don't have to manage your money because I'm just going to let it sit there and say, hey, listen, it's going okay. Markets go up, markets go down, things are moving along in short periods of times, it'll all come back. That's not the case for just about 100% of you that I speak with on a daily basis that tell me, at least most of you do, that you're going to be in retirement for 20 to 30 years. That is a long period of time, folks, not just a couple of years or up or down. The average recessionary bear market time period in our country's history is about 16.3 years. The last one was 13. Remember, do you have the time and the stomach to go sideways while you're in distribution and preservation phase? When you're taking R&D or you're taking planned income and the market goes sideways for 10 to 15 years, do you have that time to wait for it to recover? Remember folks, it took six and a half years for the last one from 08 to get back to zero. Six and a half years just to get back to even. And that was at a time when we only had $9 trillion in debt and no inflation. We weren't in a war. We don't have crazy inflation. We didn't have the rate environment that's continuing to go up as the Fed pushes moves towards six. We don't didn't have any of these issues then. 
but we do now. You cannot let history repeat itself again in your portfolio. When you are no longer working, it will devastate. There's never been a wiser time and a stronger play for safe money situations, folks, right now. Short-term structured note, short-term fixed index annuities in the hybrid world. Go capture a five, six, 7% rate of return guaranteed with some of them if you want, all while eliminating the risk of volatility. Let this all play out. Once we do find a bottom, give yourself the opportunity to pivot while maintaining safety during that time period and mathematically guarantee yourself greater success. Don't lose any more of your sweat equity from the years and years that you put into savings just because of the whims and the timing of a bear market in a recession. We say this all the time. You've never been this age in a recessionary bear market before. The last time, you were still working and could rehab your account with high earnings and company match. This time, you're not. You have to look at this time period radically different than you have any other time period in the past from your investment strategy. Fortunately for you, we specialize in the unique distribution and preservation phase of retirement. I would love to hear your thoughts on these facts, and more importantly, how we can come alongside of each other and show you with education and actuarial science, how you can create your own unique peace of mind and guarantee that you win this one and stay safe from the ongoing volatility that we're all going to experience. It truly just starts with a five minute conversation, so please feel free to click on our calendar link below and let's have a talk. Until then, or until next week's message, have an incredible weekend, folks. Thank you all, as always, for tuning in, and God bless.